Hey there, Hero, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, you know what? I think today and tomorrow just might suck for everybody. I'm going to be honest with you because we're in a really weird zone right now. For starters, the moon moves into Scorpio today, and when you're in Aries, that pulls emotions into your private space, into boundaries, into trust issues, and I find in the first 12 hours of a Scorpio moon transit, the world picks sides. So if you've been kind of, I don't know, having an issue, particularly with friends, because Sun and Aquarius, where half your friends think this and half your friends think that, it might actually completely divide and turn into high Scorpio drama for the next couple of days. I say that not just because of the moon in Scorpio, because when the moon's in Scorpio, it does force people to take sides. It forces a polarity of the earth. So the good guys are clearly separated from the bad guys or however you want to separate that pile. But as of today, Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> That's right. We're not even done with Mars retrograde. In fact, Mars retrograde ends in two days, and that's why I think the next two days will suck, because not having our mind and not having our feet are kind of a pain, but at least we get our feet back and we start moving again in two days. But Mercury retrograde will last, as you know, for a good three weeks, and what that comes down to is a rethinking, a replaying, a backwards motion of your thoughts first as it relates to your place in society. So this is really kind of weird. It's kind of like a scissor action. As you learn more about your friendships and how you want to position yourself in the world, the universe is going to force the exact opposite approach with making you rethink friends at the same time. Sound paradoxical? Welcome to astrology. I'm not quite sure how to play it out in your life, but I'll tell you this. Likely what will happen is you're growing, you're wanting things to move ahead with your friends, and nothing but misfires keep happening. Miscommunications, that stupid AT&T drop call, you know that whole paradigm where they're on the phone and the phone call drops. I'm not giving AT&T any props, by the way, but I am saying they are really good at kind of putting on video what a Mercury retrograde is like, which is a drop call. So it's going to be funky, especially in the next two days, and you may be feeling vulnerable for the next couple days as well with the moon in Scorpio. All right, Aries, that's all I got for Tuesday. <laughs> See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes, huh? If you come back, live, love, be. So good.